So we're all here for solidarity with the other occupied, with each other, and with our community, and with the working class. Individually, we're weak, but collectively, we have strength to fight back. I think the unfortunate reality is it's the day-to-day -day monotonous work that means the most. Making connections on a local level with other organizations, making connections with other occupies, and looking for new ways to forge ahead to resist what's happening with the austerity agenda, with fluoridization, with native land rights, and all these other things we have to deal with. So I think the path we're on is a good one, and we should keep it going. Solidarity. Solidarity! You know for a fact that Health Canada does state that, oh, in baby formula, it is very bad for baby formula. Health Canada has already stated that. Just say, water for children is not good. The fluoridated water. The more that we see, and the more that we are aware, uh, the better we will be together. And it's amazing to see everybody here. Woo! It's amazing to see everybody here. And I think London needs to step up to the plate uh, really, really soon. The experiences that I've had in this process have been like none other that I've ever had in my life. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. But for me, Occupy is a cultural revolution. We're living in an age. We're living in an age in which isolation is the norm. People go to work, they come home, they sit, they watch TV, then they go to bed and they wake up the next day and do it all over again. We say no to that reality. We say that we are going to come out of our homes. We're going to meet people. We're going to discuss. We're going to have democracy. Participatory. Participatory. We're going to participate in our communities. This isn't over. This is only just beginning. We are going to make this work. We're going to make democracy the norm. We're going to take it to the streets. We're going to take it to the world. We're going to change the world. It will be a better place. Yeah, yeah. To a positive future. Yeah. A similar strike going on in India right now. It is touted as possibly the world's largest strike in the history of civilization. Um, we have yet to hear details about it, but it, five, about 5,000 unions are promised that they will be striking. So it might result in about 50 to 100 million workers. Um, currently happening in India today. Uh, at this very moment. This. So, yeah. Federal strike May 1st. Rocking in the what should be free world. Yeah. <laughs>